Hello YouTube, what's up? Princess 1215 here with a review. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Star Wars set 75048, The Phantom, straight out of Star Wars Rebels, which is a pretty good show, I'm enjoying it thus far. Uh, it has 234 pieces and it is on sale for about $25. So, here we have the Phantom which uh, is a small ship that, if you've seen the show, you know that it is a portion of the bigger ship, the Ghost, and it detaches from the back, and then this is kind of like a little shuttle that they can fly around when they need it. Uh, it comes with two minifigures, one of them being Ezra Bridger, one of the main characters of Rebels, so you have him here. Uh, he comes with two accessories, which is a small blaster, which is a little weird because he has not used a blaster yet in the show. He's only used a little slingshot thing on his arm, but I guess that wouldn't translate well into plastic. Uh, and then he comes with this little Stormtroop Cadet helmet. So he can wear that. Uh, he has a double-sided face, one that's kind of normal face and then this one's kind of confused looking and then the other minifig if I can get him out of here because it's a little tricky I'll come off you there we go ah, that always happens yeah that's a con alright so then the other minifig is Get that back in there. Alright, then the other minifig is C110P, or Chopper, as they call him, which is a cantankerous little astromech droid, and as executive producer Dave Filoni put it, if R2's your favorite dog, Chopper's the cat. So that pretty much tells you his personality. Uh, he is shorter than the average astromech, which here for size comparison is a regular sized astromech droid so you can see how much shorter he is and but he uh, looks really good actually you know he's got it he doesn't have the usual rounded head he's got more of a shorter uh, more the, the head is more like an R5 unit, which is a little different than the regular R2 units. So, those are your two minifigures. And then, let's move on to the Phantom itself. So, the Phantom, as I said before, it's a little shuttle that detaches from the Ghost. And, you know, they take it on various missions and stuff in the show. Uh, it's a pretty good sized ship. Play features are that it's got these little wings that fold down like such. So you've got that. And then they can fold back up. And then it has one of these new little launchers that you could take and just push down. Ooh, my goodness, that really flew. Uh, it does come with an extra one. just kind of snaps in there real easy like and then so that one didn't go as far it bounced back let me retrieve the other one so it does come with two of these which is good because you know with as powerful as this thing is uh, you probably will lose one just looking at the little launcher piece here it's just it's a new little piece you know there's no assembly required it comes like this I'm gonna get that top piece off this is the new launcher piece pretty much you can hear the little spring in it so and then that's basically all it is and it's quite a powerful little thing uh, there is storage in the back of the Phantom 
for Ezra's helmet and blaster. You can just pop that back there. Then when you right, bring it back out, you can just do that. Um, as you saw a few minutes ago, the top does come off, uh, not too easily sometimes, and then there's a little place in here for you to put chopper, although it can be kind of hard to get him in and out. Uh, and then, in my experience with this, is that when you take this off, the door is attached to the roof, so when you take off the roof, the door is going to come off. And if you're not careful, anything that is in the back will come out because you know there's not a door there anymore. So, you know, say you're holding it like this, the door is the door is closed, so everything's in there. But then you take that off, then everything's going to come spilling out. So that is a bit of an issue. Um, overall, it's a pretty good set. Just a nice little introductory set for Rebels, because we've got more Rebel sets coming out in 2015. Uh, and then if you have the uh, larger ship, the Ghost, then you can take this and plug it into the back, which is pretty cool. I don't have the Ghost, so I can't show that to you guys, but, uh, you know, that's one cool play feature. It is listed here on the back of the box. Uh, yeah, here we go. So you've got the Phantom, the Ghost, and you put them together, which is pretty cool. So really, that's about it. Just a nice, small little set. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I would give it a 9 out of 10 stars, with the only real con being is that you cannot, is that it's kind of difficult to take that off, and then I don't know, it may just be me, but it looks just, um, it looks just a little bit like it's kind of too short with the wings. When it's like that, it's not, because it's not sized to scale. Because there's, because in the show, there's three seats here in the cockpit, and then on the set, you can just fit one minifigure in there. So it's not size of scale, but then again, I, you know, it's a Lego set, so you can kind of expect that. But because of this fact, it just looks a little smallish at certain angles. But, I don't know, that may just be me. So anyway, so I'll give this set a 9 out of 10. Pretty good. I think, the, I think it could be a little bit cheaper. I'd say this is more probably a $15 set than a $25. But, uh, who am I to argue with Lego? Um, minifigures are good, so that's definitely a plus. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. Join me next time when I review Guardians of the Galaxy.